This summer, the Disney Cruise Line's newest cruise ship, the Disney Wish, will set sail and welcome aboard its first guests. And while the Disney Wish has a very similar look and feel on the outside to the four previous ships, on the inside there are a number of new unique features, restaurants, entertainment offerings, and other changes. And since guests will have to wait until July to explore the ship themselves, I've taken all the construction updates, news releases, and promotional material Disney has released so far to try to put together a preview or virtual tour of sorts. So whether you're considering booking a cruise on the Disney Wish, or you already have your reservations and you're counting down the days, let's take a look at all the Disney Wish has to offer. First, let's start on the upper decks, specifically on Deck 13, with the all-new Aqua Mouse. And while this may look similar to the Aqua Duck, as shown here aboard the Disney Dream, the Aqua Mouse is going to take things to a new level. Disney is referring to this as the first ever Disney attraction at sea. Disney has said, Join Mickey and Minnie on an exhilarating water adventure into a colorful cartoon world inspired by the famous Mickey Mouse animated shorts. The journey will begin when you board a two-seater ride vehicle and ascend into a magical tunnel that will teleport you into the cartoon world of Scuba Scramble, a new animated short that plays out through oversized virtual portholes. Along the way you'll encounter curious sea creatures, familiar Disney friends, and more than 60 water effects that bring the subaquatic hijinks to life all perfectly synchronized to an original musical score. And not only will the Aqua Mouse have the scuba scramble version of the attraction, but also they'll be able to switch it out perhaps on different days of your cruise for another version, which will be called Swiss Meltdown. Disney says where Mickey and Minnie will invite you on a mountain sledding excursion that will inevitably and hilariously go awry. When the sun comes out and the snow begins to melt, you'll be off on a frantic dash to the mountaintop while trying to avoid obstacles like avalanches, leaky rock walls, and waterfalls. Also on deck 13 is the adults only quiet cove area, with hot tubs and an infinity pool looking off the back of the ship. Now let's turn our eyes to the heart of the upper decks. Where instead of one large pool in the center, the Disney Wish will feature several pools on multiple levels including pools named after Minnie, Pluto, Daisy, Goofy, and Donald. You can see what these actually look like as they were moving the ship out. And then just below Funnel Vision, and currently covered up in this depiction, is the location of the Mickey Pool, which will also be the stage for the deck parties. Also on Deck 11 is where you'll find the buffet, and while on the other four ships they've had cabanas as the buffet, the Disney Wish will have a buffet named after Walt Disney's hometown in Missouri. Disney explains, Marceline Market is a free-flow food hall inspired by popular marketplaces around the world. Here you will find an ever-changing menu of specialized offerings that the whole family will enjoy, including American classics, international specialties, comfort foods, seafoods, soups, and salads, vegetarian and plant-based fare, baked goods, and desserts, featuring 10 food stalls and a cafe-style beverage bar in the center. Marceline Market will be stylized as an old industrial loft converted into a bustling marketplace, but with a distinctly Disney design twist. At this food hall, the local proprietors are Disney characters themselves. Each station is themed to a beloved animated film, such as Tangled, Ratatouille, Alice in Wonderland, Zootopia, and more. And while Disney hasn't said the specific location of this next shop, my guess it will be on either side of Marceline's Market, and this is called Joyful Sweets, offering sweet treats, and this one will be at an extra cost. We also aren't sure of the exact location of each of these next quick serve restaurants, but the area they're most likely to be is right around here. Disney says, grab a quick bite for lunch, dinner, or any time in between on the upper decks at Mickey and Friends Festival of Foods. A variety of delectable offerings and fan favorite treats are available from uniquely themed food stations, including Mickey's Smokestack Barbecue, Donald's Cantina, Daisy's Pizza Pies, Goofy's Grill, and Sweet Minnie's Ice Cream. Both the barbecue and the cantina seem like kind of newer ideas for the cruise ships, which I'm excited about. Right above this area, you will find the Toy Story Splash Zone, a play area for the littlest guests. And also a family water slide called Slidosaurus Rex, also themed as Toy Story. Also on Deck 12, you will find Vibe, the hangout for 14 to 17 year olds.
And then right here you have the Hero Zone, where Disney says, Action-packed physical challenges and game show style competitions can be found at this groundbreaking recreation space where families are invited to play together. This will act as a sports court, game floor, playground, and more. Now let's move into the adult dining area. I'll share Disney's descriptions for each of these locations. The Rose. This adult exclusive lounge reminiscent of the Enchanted Castle from Beauty and the Beast where you can sip a cocktail surrounded by antique mirrors and floating rose petals while enjoying ocean views. Moving into Palo, which is now Palo Steakhouse, by the lovable pomp and circumstance of Cogsworth, the enchanted clock from Disney's Beauty and the Beast, this elegant adult exclusive restaurant serves premium steaks and exquisite Italian dishes for dinner. Enchanté is the new specialty restaurant crafted by the three Michelin star chef. This adult exclusive restaurant is paying tribute to the romance loving character of Lumiere from Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Now let's head inside the ship to deck three. Usually the center of the ship is called the atrium, but on the Disney wish, it is the grand hall. With a beautiful chandelier, the statue of Cinderella, and it's really designed to feel like their castle at sea. Disney says, glistening with Disney magic and rising three stories high, this fairy tale inspired grand hall is the very heart of the Disney Wish, where families and friends gather, take pictures, and enjoy heartwarming entertainment." End quote. You can see here that there's even a special stage area that will be used for entertainment throughout the cruise. If you're finding this preview helpful so far, please give this video a like and consider subscribing so you can get the latest updates when I have more information about the Disney Wish. Let's continue on with the tour. Also on deck three is Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge. Disney says, families are invited to experience this interstellar watering hole during the day, but at night, the lounge jumps into light speed and becomes a haven for adults only, offering interactive tasting experiences and signature beverages inspired by the hit films. As you sit in this bar area, you'll be able to see other planets and ships from the Star Wars universe pass by. And speaking of adult-only bars and clubs, Disney hasn't said the location of these next few, but they are likely split between decks 3, 4, and 5. Nightingales will be a sophisticated piano bar inspired by Cinderella, who sang the song Sing Sweet Nightingale. The Bayou, Disney says this will offer New Orleans-inspired refreshments in a unique, informal lounge inspired by the magical marsh in Walt Disney's animated film, The Princess and the Frog. Disney goes on to say, there will be twinkling fireflies overhead, and that this space brings alive the enchantment of the iconic Louisiana Swamp, and is home to live musical performances and other fun-filled events. Keg and Compass, a pub inspired by the romance and adventure of the sea. The Walt Disney Theater. Disney says, stories spring to life inside this glamorous two-level, 1,274-seat theater. The first of the three shows which will be aboard the Disney Wish will be Disney's Aladdin, a musical spectacular, which has been on some of the other Disney ships. There will also be two new shows available on the ship, Disney Sees the Adventure. Disney says, the show will begin with Captain Minnie Mouse handing over the helm to her dear friend Goofy, leaving him a little unsure about his responsibility. With the help of some familiar friends, he'll embark on a musical voyage into favorite Disney and Pixar stories on a journey to discover his own inner captain. So this looks kind of like it will be kind of the greatest hit show where they have songs from various movies. The third show will be The Little Mermaid. The creative minds at the Disney Cruise Line have joined forces with a team of top Broadway talent to develop an all new stage adaptation of The Little Mermaid exclusively for the Disney Wish. In this modern day retelling, audiences will rediscover the iconic scenes, acclaimed music, and beloved characters of the film, as a cast of contemporary storytellers put their own spin on this timeless tale. Disney The Little Mermaid will feature innovative theatrical design, dazzling special effects, artistic choreography, and a reimagined script and score that will surprise and delight guests of all ages. Now where I think some of the biggest changes are, the first of the three new rotational dining restaurants. The first one, 1923. Disney says, named after the year the Walt Disney Studios was founded, this sophisticated dining establishment celebrates the unwavering spirit of the original studio that started it all. Travel back in time as you dine amid storyboards, sketches, and props that illustrate the early animation process while delighting in some of the tantalizing flavors found throughout the Golden State. 
Now, as we leave deck three, there is a slide that kids can use to go down to deck two to enter the Oceaneers Club. And that is for kids three to 12. Here they will find Fairytale Hall with Bell's Library, Rapunzel's Art Studio, and Anna and Elsa's Summer House. They'll also find Walt Disney Imagineering Lab, Marvel Superhero Academy, and also Star Wars Cargo Bay. And also for the youngest guests, six months to three years old, there is the Small World Nursery. Now let's head up to Deck 4. First, let's start at a new location called Luna. Disney says, evoking both the warmth of a classic fairy tale village and the enchantment of wishing upon a star, Luna is a sprawling two deck high performance space, home to musical performances, comedy acts, game shows, and more. And then not one, but two movie theaters will be actually on deck four, and those will be the Wonderland Theater and the Neverland Theater. And then the rotational dining restaurant on this level will be Worlds of Marvel. Disney says, join Ant-Man and the Wasp during Avengers Quantum Encounter, a demonstration of powerful superhero technologies. Leap into your own heroic role using the interactive quantum core at your table to shrink and grow objects at the push of a button as you take part in an action-packed Avengers mission that unfolds around you. All the while, enjoying a worldly menu inspired by the Marvel Cinematic Universe, featuring a range of items from classic all-American fare to rich African flavors. Disney has said they've engaged some of the actors that actually portray these characters. So I'm guessing you'll see some of those on screen and also some of the characters like Ant-Man and the Wasp will actually be in the restaurant with you. Now let's head up to deck five for Arendelle, a frozen dining adventure. Disney says, be part of the world's first frozen themed theatrical dining experience as you're magically transported to the enchanted kingdom of Arendelle aboard the Disney Wish. Queen Anna and Kristoff are celebrating their engagement and have invited you, their honored guest, to join them. Behold festive musical performances from Elsa and Olaf as you devour hearty Norwegian-inspired cuisine made by Oaken himself. It's a dinner worth melting for. And you can kind of see the layout of this restaurant. I think they've improved upon the ideas that happen at Tiana's place and at Rapunzel's Royal Palace in that they have kind of a stage at the center of this. So I think it's really designed for these performances. And here's Edge, the hangout for 11 to 14 year olds. Once again, some of these locations we're not positive of, but the next two I'm pretty sure are gonna be right around here, the Untangled Salon and Hook's Barbary. So the Untangled Salon is themed to Rapunzel and Hook's Barbary is themed to Captain Hook. And then this is the location of Census Spa. And one thing that's gonna be really unique here is not only are they gonna have your typical spa things and all those treatments, but they're also going to have an outdoor rainforest area that will be at the front of the ship that you can see here. And of course, they'll also have the typical fitness area. And one of the things that really surprised me the most is that they've even updated the look and feel of the staterooms, which they've been pretty consistent across the four previous ships. For the veranda staterooms, they say it includes a queen size bed, a pull down bed, a sitting area with a convertible couch, and a split bathroom, plus a variety of upscale amenities. The concierge staterooms include Tangle inspired cabins or Little Mermaid inspired ones. The Royal Suites are themed to Sleeping Beauty. And the first ever Disney Cruise Line Funnel Suite. So this will be the Wish Tower Suite. It's a first of its kind accommodation set high in the forward funnel of the Disney Wish. It is 1,966 square feet. The Wish Tower Suite will sleep up to eight guests with two main bedrooms, a children's room, a library that converts into a bedroom, and four and a half bathrooms, a magnificent living room, dining area, and a large pantry, and a bar. And of course, offering extraordinary views across the upper deck. So for now, that's everything we know about the Disney Wish. Hopefully we'll continue to learn more, but until then, why don't you check out my recent cruise aboard the Disney Dream, or check out my review about the room service aboard the Disney Cruise Line. Thanks for watching.